Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at eye bags as a possible side effect of minoxidil. We're going to start by looking at some clinical trial data and some anecdotal data. We're going to look at the mechanisms of action by which minoxidil can cause eye bags in some people and we're going to look at how to actually go about avoiding this possible side effect. So let's get started by looking at this clinical trial that investigated 100 male patients with androgenic alopecia who were all taking low dose oral minoxidil in order to observe the incidence and frequency of possible side effects. In this study, they identified various side effects among these periorbital edema. Periorbital just means around the eyes and edema means fluid retention or swelling. So this is basically eye bags. And edema or swelling can also occur in other parts of the body like the lower legs, your ankles, your feet or whatnot. But the purpose of this video is to discuss eye bags. So we also have a bunch of anecdotal data for eye bags as a possible side effect of minoxidil. Here we have various screenshots taken from Reddit. And we can see various people complaining about eye bags from minoxidil. Eye bags and minoxidil, under eye bags from minoxidil here in female pattern hair loss and yet another case of eye bags caused by minoxidil. So here we have two case studies of individuals uh, experiencing some pretty noticeable eye bags or uh, periorbital edema from low dose oral minoxidil. So here we have a male patient, 40 years old, angiogenic alopecia, no previous history of disease. And this individual began taking oral minoxidil at five milligrams per day. And after four weeks, the patient noticed periorbital edema in the morning. And when this individual reduced the dosage from five milligrams per day to three milligrams per day, this resulted in complete resolution of symptoms within a few days. And similarly, we have a similar case study from this female who is 37 years old, had angiogenic alopecia, began treatment of oral minoxidil at one milligram per day, taken every night, and she started experiencing uh, periorbital edema or eye bags. And when she withdrew treatment, she experienced a complete resolution after seven days, and then she reinitiated the oral minoxidil at 0.5 milligrams per day without the reappearance of edema. So we know that reducing the dosage of oral minoxidil can actually clear the symptoms of uh, eye bags. And depending on the study, you're going to get a different incidence of the of this side effect some studies claim it's around 0.3 percent some studies claim it's around one percent some sources claim it's actually even much higher than this that being said the incidence of uh, eye bags as a side effect of minoxidil tends to be pretty low but it can happen so how can minoxidil actually cause eye bags so we've already discussed the mechanisms of action of minoxidil for hair growth in the previous video. So you can go check that out if you're interested in how minoxidil can lead to hair growth in some patients. But um, as a recap, minoxidil sulfate, the active version of minoxidil can cause vasodilation. And it does this through ATP sensitive potassium ion channels. So that's this protein over here, which can actually open up when exposed to minoxidil sulfate. And this allows potassium to go into the cell which makes the cell membrane hyperpolarized. And when this occurs, the cell in the cell membrane actually become further apart, which basically leads to vasodilation, increasing blood flow and whatnot. So the thing about this is that the body aims to stay in a state of homeostasis. Homeostasis. So, whoops, that's another T. Uh, so this is basically when the body uh, aims to remain in a state of balance. And here from this study, we can see that sodium and water retention with minoxidil is a variant combination of renal, hemodynamic, and or neurohumoral changes. So what's happening is that we have a protein called angiotensinogen, which comes primarily from the liver, and we have an enzyme called renin. And so, when the body senses a drop in blood pressure in the arteries from minoxidil, to counteract this and to stay in a state of balance or homeostasis, the body activates mechanisms to increase blood volume 
So lower blood pressure signals the body to release renin, which is this enzyme over here. Now renin converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is in turn converted into angiotensin 2. And the curious thing about angiotensin 2 is that it is a vasoconstrictor. So we take minoxidil, it causes, it causes vasodilation, the body tries to stay in a state of balance. So it upregulates this protein that causes vasoconstriction, which partially counteracts the vasodilatory effects of minoxidil. Now, the curious thing is that angiotensin 2 can also upregulate aldosterone, and increased aldosterone levels promote sodium reabsorption in the kidneys, which in turn leads to water retention. And this can present itself in the eye region as uh, edema or eye bags, which we can see in the image over here. And the more sodium retention, the more minor edema around the eyes. And so minoxidil, while effective for lowering blood pressure, can cause increased sodium and water retention, potentially leading to edema. So how can we actually go about avoiding edema? So first of all, edema can in some cases resolve itself, so to speak, spontaneously after two to three months of treatment without the need to alter the dose regimen. So if we consider here a graph, the x-axis being time, so zero months, and this can be three months, and the y-axis can be the severity of edema. So here we have zero, no edema. Here, let's call it 10 out of 10, really severe edema. So when you start taking oral minoxidil, you can experience edema, and then over time, even without uh, lowering your dosage, the edema can kind of resolve itself over time. This isn't always the case, but it can happen. You can also lower the dosage, as we've seen with the two case studies that we went over earlier with the male and the female patients who lowered their dosage of oral minoxidil, and that cleared their eye bags. And it's also worth mentioning that the three-month time point is the latest point at which most people will have experienced swelling if it is going to occur. This doesn't mean that it can't happen after the three-point mark. It just means that usually, in most cases, if oral minoxidil is going to trigger uh, eye bags, it's probably going to happen prior to the three-month mark. And finally, we have a free ebook. If you are experiencing hair loss, any form of hair loss, hair thinning, hair shedding, that you can get from the link in the description below. And so if you're experiencing hair loss, you'd be silly not to download this book because it's free and it can probably really help you out. And with that in mind, I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one.